Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I have another review for uh, Mr. Kyle Colson of Hella Hot Hot Sauces. Now, if you've ever watched any of my reviews for his company before, you know that Kyle can really come up with some unique and very flavorful, uh, uh, crazy uh, flavor combinations. And this is another one today. This is another uh, a very unique and uh, seasonal uh, creation that he has come up with. This is his strawberry rhubarb from Hella Hot Hot Sauce. Now let me uh, read what it says here on his website. It says, this isn't as innocent as Grandma Betty's pie. The heat from the blend of chili peppers mixed with an amazing strawberry flavor creates a combination that will blow the mind. Made with old fashioned love and classic spice, our strawberry rhubarb hot sauce will bring you to the place of comfort before the kick in the pants. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, here's what it says on the bottle. It says, after reaching, searching the world over for the best hot sauce, we decided to obey our own irrepressible urge to create a hot sauce like none other. Recipes flowed, and the people put, and the people spoke. I'll take one of each. All right. Now, here's the ingredients on this one. Uh, now, one thing that Kyle does so well is that he really uses a lot of herbs and spices. Uh, so he's not afraid to throw in a lot of different stuff to create uh, some uh, unique flavors. Now we start off with strawberry, jalapeno, tomato, rhubarb, serrano, Thai chili, distilled white vinegar, distilled water, sea salt, lemon juice, cilantro, brown sugar, cayenne, ghost pepper powder, garlic, herbs, and spices. All right. Made in the USA. That is awesome. Okay, now this uh, doesn't have the most appealing uh, color to it, I have to admit. Uh, this is another one of his sauces that are a little bit on the loose side. Um, I would really like to see, Kyle, um, you thicken up some things a little bit, um, make some thicker sauces, just my opinion. And you can definitely see, um, I believe, the fibrous uh, pieces of rhubarb that are in there, if you can see that floating around. Um, they'll definitely... You know, you'll taste them when you look it in your mouth, and you can see them kind of on the top of the bottle as you use it. Well, let's go ahead and check out the flavor on this one, or aroma. Now, this is a, once again, immediately you get that unique um, signature aroma that is uh, present in a lot of his sauces. That uh, herb, that herbal spicy uh, aroma. This one doesn't smell overly sweet. It doesn't smell vinegary. Now, you know, rhubarb, if you're familiar with rhubarb, uh, you know, when you, uh, usually it's cooked down, you can eat it raw, not the leaves, but you can eat the stalks uh, raw, which is going to be very sour and very tart. And that's why they make pies and jams out of them. And Kyle, Kyle knows what he's doing because uh, one of the perfect pairing for rhubarb is strawberries. And you kind of get a little bit of the strawberry aroma, but it is not very strong at all. I get kind of the, the tart, uh, sour, um, I guess the notes is coming from the rhubarb, spiciness of those peppers. Uh, he just puts a lot of stuff in here. It's hard to pick everything out. I'll show you what it looks like here. Once again, I think this is a little bit on the, the too thin side for this type of, of sauce. And you see that right there? I believe that's one piece of the uh, rhubarb. Here we go. Now you definitely get very, very faint strawberry type flavor. Kind of wish it was a little bit more pronounced. I was kind of disappointed that it didn't have a little bit more of a strawberry flavor. Immediately you get that, um, the spiciness of the peppers. You get a pretty much of an upfront kick coming from the jalapenos and the serranos and the Thai chili. So you get a little bit of a, <coughs> excuse me, quick burn going on. But you get those uh, t a sour tart note, uh, sour, uh, tart, yeah, tart notes coming from the, from the rhubarb, uh, definitely, um, I kind of wish it was a little bit more sweet, I think this would have worked a lot better if it was sweetened up a little bit, um, with maybe additional strawberries and more, uh, brown sugar, I think it would have worked better if it came across as just being a little bit more sweet, uh, but definitely, uh, you're getting the rhubarb tartness and a little bit of that sour notes coming from, from the rhubarb. I just wish it was a little bit more pronounced with the strawberries um, and, you know, thickened up a little bit. 
have to admit, this is not, this really doesn't wow me. This is not one of my favorites from Kyle's, and uh, I've tried so many of his sauces, you know, that uh, I, I believe I can say that. Uh, he does, has a lot of great sauces. This just happens to be not one of my favorites. Um, I think uh, this, you know, you could put this on salads. I think it would work on certain meats, maybe some lighter meats, uh, chicken, things like that, uh, possibly shrimp vegetables. Um, another one is uh, another one of his sauces where you got to get creative and uh, figuring out what to do with it or what to put it on. Um, but I just think it would, I wish it was a little bit more thicker. I think it would have worked better and maybe, uh, you know, a little bit sweeter, but you definitely get the, the flavors are there. Um, but it's just, just not one of my favorites, I have to be honest. So on, on flavor on this one, I'll give this one a seven out of 10. Um, definitely for creativity. But I think it would have scored a lot higher if it was just uh, maybe thickened up a little bit, maybe sweetened up. That's just my opinion. But if you're a fan of rhubarb, um, you really might like this. So uh, definitely check it out. And on heat, uh, I think it falls into the, about the four category. It is definitely spicy uh, from those peppers. And then, you know, kicked up a little bit with the, uh, the ghost pepper powder that he adds there near the end. So four out of ten for heat, seven out of ten for uh, flavor. Another one of his seasonal creations, you can find him at hellahothotsauce.com. Link will be down in the description. All right, Kyle, thank you very much for sending it, and everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.